What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to delete any rows that contain a specific value across all columns in those rows. So let's get into it. All right, so on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got some data here from the uh, New York Stock Exchange with stocks. And we've got about, let's see, 3,138 rows. And what we're gonna do here is find a value that we can use that appears in multiple columns and we wanna use our macro to delete that value. So let's go with uh, blank. So we're gonna add some blanks here, let's add one here. And we should expect to see all of these rows get deleted. So we're looking for blanks regardless of the column. As long as that blank appears anywhere in that row, we wanna delete that row. So let's call this sub delete rows across all columns and we'll declare our variables. We're gonna have a row count as long, our column count as long, we're gonna have variables i and j. And then we're also gonna have our worksheet, ws. All right, so let's set our worksheet equal to this workbook dot sheets. And the name of the sheet is NYSE, New York Stock Exchange Stocks. So let's do that. And now we're gonna we're gonna activate the sheet, and we're gonna get our row count, which will just be WS cells rows dot count comma one, and we're just gonna be counting up. So we're gonna do an XL up, and we want the row. And similarly, we're gonna have our column count. And we're going to do WS cells and one here, and then columns count here, and then end. And we're going to be counting to the left, so XL to the left column. All right, so at this point, our row count should be equal to 3,138. And then our column count should be equal to, to see here at the bottom, 11. So what we're gonna do now is set i equal to two, and then we're gonna use a do while loop. So as long as i, so do while i is less than or equal to our row count. And then we're gonna close this loop. And inside of this loop, we're gonna have another loop pertaining to our columns. So for j equals one to column count, we'll go to the next j. So we've got our j going over to the from the right, from the left to the right, and then we've got our i going down. So we're going to be hitting every single one of these cells in this range that we determine using our row count and our column count, and these loops will allow us to do that. So now, as we're looking through each cell, we're gonna say if cells i and j, oops, i, j, are equal to blank, let's go with blank, then, and we'll end our if, then we're going to take whatever row we're currently in, and we're gonna delete that entire row. So this for loop is always gonna iterate, it's always gonna go to the next J, but this do while loop, it'll be uh, an infinite loop if we don't iterate I. So I is gonna have to be equal to itself plus one here. So that way when it gets through this for loop, We'll iterate I and again, we'll go to the next row and keep going through. And then as we go to the next row, we're gonna be going throughout each of the columns in that row 
And then if we get our scenario, that row will get deleted. And then there's another issue we'll run across is that when the row gets deleted, so for example, say this row were to get deleted, the next row becomes the current row. So to prevent us from skipping it, when we iterate I, what we're gonna have to do is say, if this case happens, if this scenario happens where there's a blank cell in that row, we're gonna say I is equal to I minus one, and also the row count is equal to the row count minus one, because our overall count goes down by one as well when we delete the row. So let's see what we have, this should be it. Let's go ahead and run our macro. All right, look, our blank columns are gone. Our blank rows are gone. Let's look at this one right here. This looks a little suspect. And you can see it actually is more than just a blank. It's, there's an actual space here. So if I were just to do, so let, for example, so let me just do this. So if I add a space and then run it, it'll go away, see? So if I were to do, let's say like the letter X. So you see these X's here? It's gonna throw them across. All of these rows should get deleted. Oh, sorry, I have to put X in here in the code. Otherwise it wouldn't know. Okay, now let's run it. Boom, all the X's are gone. And um, if we go to the bottom, we'll see that we've only got 978 rows now from we had over 3,000 before. So yeah, um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.